Hi ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once more to uh, the Battle of Coronel. However, this time we are playing as the Germans, and we are playing a different alternative scenario, at least an alternate variation of the Battle of Coronel. Now, this one simulates the fact that HMS, well, not the fact, obviously, because she never reached the battle, uh, but the alternate scenario here is that HMS Canopus has actually reached the battle and has reinforced Craddock. So, we have Skarnhorst, or Sharnhorst, Gnazow, Gnazow, I don't know how you say it, Gnazow. It's a terrible thing having an English accent like mine. It makes you really unable to pronounce anything, which is rather annoying. Anyways, we have Nuremberg, we have Dresden, Gnazow, Skarnhorst, or Sharnhorst, we have Leipzig. Now we do see... Okay, so she's rising up front then. So, uh, Canopus is going to be something difficult. We are... Possibly over our heads. I'm not entirely sure what would count here. Uh, but I think what I need to do here is really allow Nuremberg to catch up. Nuremberg, I So have Nuremberg try and reach us, try and make contact a little well. Is it this one? There we go, facing. Where are you facing, actually? There we go. Okay, I want you at top speed. We want you to catch up here. Now, Sean Horst. What I need to take advantage of is the fact that we do have the capability of smoke in this uh, match here, in this alternate battle. Well, the Germans had smoke anyway, but I want to take advantage of that and try to lure, at least uh, separate the British forces over here. So we're going to have Sean Horst uh, turn to the left here. We're going to have Leipzig uh, basically draw fire. Right, she's at maximum speed then. She's not a very fast vessel, is she? Hopefully she will be able to uh, weather the storm. Okay, so we need our forces to assemble. Let us begin the battle. Now Sean Horst, Sean Horst is equipped with eight 8.3 inch guns, which is fantastic. Nuremberg has 8.59s. Leipzig has 10 4.13s. Okay. Again, 8.83s. Dresden. 10.41s. Yeah, you can hear the size of those guns there. She definitely has a range of those. She's equipped with the uh, 12 inches. There we go. Could be us fine here. Actually, we are chasing the British here. We might as well take advantage of that. I thought with the added battleship that they would take advantage of that. Ah, it is Sharnhorst firing. Right, we are taking fire, however. So speed is definitely something we want to take advantage of. Leipzig is far... Well, sorry, Nuremberg is far from the battle. But she has 27.5 knots, so she should be able to... Uh, should potentially be able to join the battle. Hmm. I think the best way we can take out Canopus is more than likely using torpedoes. She's only moving at 18 knots, so she's not the fastest ship here. Uh, she does, however, have good armor. She is a pre-dreadnought, so it's not incredible armor. She's about as armored as the Good Hope. About 6 inch belt, I believe it is. Hmm, kind of about the same armor thickness as Sharnhorst. But it's the guns that make the difference. The fact that she has the 12 inches. Okay, let's speed things up. Now then. I find it really uncomfortable that we are seeing 
12 inch shells being thrown up Leipzig. If she gets hit, she's gonna get hit hard. Right, so this might be Glasgow. British are turning to the left here. Come on, Nuremberg. Okay. We so far have not achieved a hit, uh, but the good thing is, yo, there we go, hit. That's what I needed. No damage, apparently. Hmm. I doubt that one. Right, we may do well. To head slightly that way. Come on, all we need here is a few more shots on target. It seems like the uh, other ships, like the Nizau, Nizenhau, Nizenhau. Yes, I think that's it. Nizenhau, Nizenhau, something like that. I'm gonna go with Nizenhau. That sounds more German, and I'm not going to have people uh, whinging at me because I can't pronounce things. Okay. Right, so that looks like Glasgow. Notice the fact that they are all traveling at 18 knots. Enemy AMC has been hit. The beautiful thing is, once the AMC starts to take damage, it starts to slow. Ooh, their squadron is going to start to slow as well. And then we can catch up, we can use smoke, we can try and get in there with torpedoes and lay down a critical defeat. The thing was that HMS Canopus after she had failed to reach the battle, she was basically grounded at the Falcons and used as a, well, artillery battery. Her shells were the first ones fired at the Battle of the Falcons. She was actually, um, camouflaged. I think she was painted green. Or painted anyway. To try and disguise her. Okay. So we are taking fire. Now Leipzig does not have the range while Glasgow does. She was one of the most modern light cruisers. There we go, that's another hit. Light damage now. Okay, Leipzig. We need the hits. Okay, we are doing 22 knots. We should be able to keep this up. But we're going to turn southwest. Okay, Leipzig took a big hit there. Okay. Uh, so we'll turn her about. Tempted to use a smoke here. Yes, yeah, so we'll have her hide behind the cruisers. The heavy cruisers. Or the armored cruisers, basically. Now we do have the speed advantage here, which is really, really a big thing. Okay. Good, we achieved a hit on Glasgow. That could deal quite heavy damage due to the fact that she does not have that much armor. 
and she's going to be taking fire from our ships over here. Now, in terms of armament, we do actually outgun the British to an extent. The British do have the higher caliber of gun, but we have... Well, how many do we have on Jean Host? We have eight there, and then we have a further eight on board uh, Genizau. In his... In... 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 Okay. Nice and now. Yeah, nice and now. So that's 16. Then we have Dresden and Nuremberg. So that's further. So we do have quite a decent armament. Uh, the thing is that Sean Horse. Actually, Sean Horse does have secondaries, and so does the Nizer now. That's sweet. Pretty good secondaries, too, at that. Hmm. A range of 17,500. Indeed. Okay. Now we do have another 2 hours and 36 minutes to make the dream come true. Hmm. Dresden does lack on that range. Only 12,000. Now Nuremberg. 15,500 yards. She's a very fine light cruiser. She has a lot of speed there. That is very impressive. We're going to have a hit on the AMC on the Entranto. Hmm, Canopus is giving me something like hell. Only like damage. Hmm, must not be getting uh, very good hits on her. We need to somehow force battle. Okay, Leipzig, you need to get closer again. Come on, Nuremberg. Right, we're almost in secondary range now. And that's when we could start feeling, uh, well, sending out the pain there. Of course, we are getting more, well, we are becoming more and more accurate as we close the range. Okay, so what we can do here... Head straight on. That will practically give us broadside soon. Head straight on. Almost in range. Good, another hit. That is a beautiful thing because they're headed at the same speed as the uh, Tranto. We are able to close the range here. Again, another hit. Medium damage now 15 knots, 14 knots, 13 knots, 12, 11. Ooh. Notice now Canopus has dropped to 11. The light cruiser has dropped to 11. The beauty is the Achilles heel of the British squadron here is Atranto, is the armoured merchant vessel. Armed merchant vessel, sorry. She is the Achilles heel. Now the fact is we're moving at much higher speed. Therefore we should be harder to hit while the British should be easier to hit. Okay, now is a now. It's like a hit there. Not a very heavy hit. Now 
Now we do need to be careful of right there goes, she's disabled. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to turn. We need to bring these guns to bear. Um, you're going to drop speed to 12 knots and then I'm going to have you cross over. There we go. Yeah, her speed is horrific. Okay, now that I've full speed again. But the Glasgow is incredibly vulnerable now. She's fairly heavily damaged now. I'm not surprised she's taken a lot of fire. She is indeed taking a lot of fire. Hmm. No damage. Armor is all that. Okay, we're going to drop down to 20 knots, or 20... 0.5. Actually drop to 19.5. Now go another hit. Now the idea here is... God damn it. Yes, the idea here is that we try and get Leap Seeker to the front of the squadron and then drop smoke, obscure ourselves by ourselves in time to close the distance. Yeah, they're dropping to 15 knots now. This is great news, we can try and catch up now. Again, she's hit. She is dead in the water. And again. And she has been sunk. Oh my god, we sunk Glasgow! Critical hit. She is gone. There's a few hundred sailors right there. And the AMC, the Otranto, has been destroyed. Okay, that leaves Canopus, Good Hope, and Monmouth. They are turning tail and running. We will chase them down. We can achieve this as well. We will eventually catch up. Sean Horse took a hit there. That was quite a hit. That would have most likely been from either the 9s on Good Hope or the 12s on uh, Canopus. Okay. to close. We are surely gaining. She can only achieve a maximum of 18 knots. There we go, we have a hit on the Canopus. I doubt that really did anything. Any drop in speed would be amazing. Okay, Nuremberg is finally catching up. She has amazing speed. We are closing to secondary range for Scharnhorst. Uh, what well, the plan here is basically we have the armored cruisers draw the fire with Canopus, then we have Leipzig basically use smoke and approach on the flank here and try to launch a torpedo in front of the ship and basically force her to stop. Then we can follow up with uh, Nuremberg and try to destroy Canopus. 
But the fact is, we've removed two British ships already. That puts us heavily in the lead here. These are superb ships. Just need her to lose a couple knots, and we can close the range. Okay. Visibility is dropping, we've already lost 400 yards. Okay, that's not too bad. 21% damage inflicted there. She is a lead ship. I mean, she does have pretty decent armor. Only 6 inches of belt, 2.5 deck, pretty good deck. The issue is the um, canopy shells will probably go through, uh, well, straight through there if they hit. The crew quality of the British squadron is rather low. Okay, we lost sight of them, fantastic. Uh, that means that they cannot see us either. So what we can do now is we can try to close the gap with relatively good chances. There we go. Now, the off chance that they do try to make a break for it, we will try and spread out a little bit. Either way, we have scored a victory here. Yes, British minded defeat, we need to make that a major defeat. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, we do need to find them. Ah, oh, there we go, we have the uh, sight in. Okay. So we do have the armored cruisers and Dresden on the left. Nuremberg and Leipzig on the right. Just need to land some shells. Use our speed to our advantage here. Mask our approach of smoke. Lay some torpedoes into her. Come on, can we achieve any anything extra? Come on. No, unfortunately. But the beauty is there's only Canopus firing right now. I'm trying to close the range, and then at that point, we can begin to turn to present more guns. As you do try to be on the broadside, it's recommended to go for a broadside. But the range is closing, visibility is dropping. Okay, Good Hope's more than likely firing. I do not know where Monmouth is, assuming that is Good Hope and not Monmouth. There is Monmouth then. So I'm going to assume Good Hope and Monmouth. Okay, John Horse took a hit but absorbed it. Right, we are closing the range with Nuremberg and Leipzig. 
Uh, Nuremberg will be in range shortly, so she can start adding her shells to the volleys. It's not going to really do much to uh, Canopus, but if we can hit something and slow her down, then that will be good. Okay, turn further. Three more guns to bear. There we go. That's a hit. I imagine it's Dresden that Sloan is down here. Right, so Dresden has been detached. Let's see. Damn. I thought we could achieve higher speeds. The way we our forces like this does allow us to try and pull off some maneuvers. Really nothing extra in these engines? Damn. Oh, damn it. Sign mission? Oh. Okay. So another hit. Whoa! Bloody hell. That was a big hit on Dresden. Huge hit. Okay, she can lay smoke. Mm, pull out from that. We have really learned some hits here. Only light damage. Yeah, that's definitely good hope. Come on, we are closing that range. another hit. How does one attach? Hmm. Honestly don't know. Not right now anyway. Close with Nuremberg. Nuremberg. Still over an hour remaining now. Making good time. Okay, we're going to use smoke soon. She's definitely within secondary range. Smoke, obscure yourself. Okay, no, thanks, slow. No, no. Sorry. 
fling smoke. Hopefully that should... Should help to uh, make it harder to hit. Come on. We are closing. Yeah, see, she's just dropping in and out of sight. Same smoke, yep. Closing the range. Closing that range. There's only 2%. Come on. I'm going to see if the uh, ships will manually, well, automatically fire their torpedoes, as I'd rather them make the choice. As I do not know the speed. Taking a hit. Right, smoke is done. Taking another hit. And another. Try to get behind her. Yeah, she's taking multiple hits now. That's a torpedo. Wow, okay. Uh, good thing we turned there. Right, now's an arrow. Took another hit. What? <gasps> what? What? Oh my god! What the hell? What the hell? She went down! Oh my god! Oh my god! That is mental. That is insane. I, 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 I'm shocked. I'm shocked. She suffered a critical hit. That must have been to the ammunition. That must have been. Flatty hell. Hey, make sure we keep changing direction. We do have 27.5 knots, so we are pretty damn quick. Again, yes, we're just landing the hits now. Okay, that sounds like a torpedo. believe that. One track to annihilate the British. side. Visibility is dropping, there's a good chance for us. I cannot believe that bow. That is insane. There we go. Stop the head. Um, let's 
try and close. I, I want to deliver an actual torpedo hit, not a miss. She's taking more damage, however. Right, we'll launch a torpedo. There we go, torpedo out. Okay, that's actually moving a hell of a lot slower than I would imagine. So that's never going to hit really, is it? She does not want to be a broadside on. Yeah, we should probably have waited. Okay, we'll have her back off. side once more. But I cannot believe we destroyed Knopus. That is insanity. <sighs> wow. I think that like means they leave the battle. There they are. Only 28 minutes left. There they are. Come on. Hopefully we can finish this. We just need that side. Come on, where are they? Okay, visibility might be just too, too small, too uh, short for us to find them. I think we inflicted quite heavy damage. Well, substantial damage. I destroyed three ships. There we go. Should have waited for the torpedo. Oh, that's visibility. Okay, we need to keep Nuremberg inside them. She allows the other ships to fire. Hmm, they're almost out of the battle, I think. Come on, get another hit. There we go. Only light damage, however. She's just been running the entire time. Only six minutes left now. Come on. I don't know what that line indicates then. Good, another hit. And another hit. Ah, it was Monmouth. Right. British major defeat there. Bloody hell. Canopus was destroyed.
We destroy Glasgow. Hell. Atlanta was destroyed. <laughs> That's insanity. Von Spee comes out on top here. A major defeat for the British. Absolutely. That was good hope. I'm surprised that they took so many hits. Definitely. I can't believe that I think Canopus went down the way she did. Yep, some Glasgow. Canopus. Insane. Six inch belt, two inch of deck. Four 12 inch guns. Bloody hell, she'd only been firing two of them, really. <sighs> wow. Absolutely crazy. Absolutely. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I know I did. We scored a major victory here at the Battle of Coronel. So until next time, thank you for watching, do subscribe for more, and if you do feel that I have deserved it, you can become one of my patrons and uh, donate a monthly fee to help me keep going. Of course, there's also PayPal for a one-time monetary donation. Again, this all goes to helping the channel. And yes, have a fantastic day, whatever you're doing, whatever you are. Goodbye for now, guys. See you next time.